Hello, friends. Hello from Boisfort, Belgium, on the outskirts, the very edge of Brussels by the forest, which maybe you can see behind me. I'm actually up on our roof. <laughs> and, um, and I wanted to come up here because there's a song that Sarah and I wrote with residents of Petit Chateau from Armenia this past August. And I was preparing and practicing to play it for an event uh, yesterday evening um, for a dinner um, hosted by Serve the City, which is a wonderful organization that works with refugees and those in need in Brussels. And I did end up playing the song, and but it's been in my head. Uh, and I, then I realized, you know, I wasn't sure. I haven't really made a recording of the song, a formal recording, or played it. So I thought that I would play it for you. And I wanted to play it in a space that was open. Um, this past Monday at the center, Sarah and I were talking about, we often talk about how we work outside. We um, At the refugee center, it's an old building that used to be a military complex. And so there's sort of like buildings within buildings and like, you know, you walk in, there's a big courtyard and then there's a covered corridor. And then if you keep walking through, there's another kind of outer area and another building. And we work um, under one of those first covered courtyard corridors in the off of the, the main courtyard. And Sarah was saying, you know, it's our, it's our office, <laughs> you know, our creative space. And it's important that we're here where there are no doors because the work that we do really is about, um, I think, transcending, it's about transcending fear, you know, and choosing um, empathy and understanding and searching for that solidarity and peace that I think is possible if we can try to accept one another for our differences and our similarities and celebrate those as well. But also it's important to be in a space, I think, without doors because we're not a species that is meant to be inhibited in our movement. I mean, historically, people have always moved. I know <laughs> from personal experience that um, I am a wandering, wandering person. And so the idea that now there's so much red tape and money and um, injustice uh, involved in, in being able to move, especially from an unsafe place to a safe place, uh, is a is something that we think about a lot and talk about a lot at the center and a lot of our songs you know have borders and freedom uh, as kind of underlying very important themes we have a cat moving the computer um, so we wrote this song called well I mean songs <laughs> okay so it's sort of tentatively called let me be free but then you know in brackets free like a smile the the beginnings of the song, the and especially the chorus, let me be free, free like a smile, free from your judgment of me. Let me be free like an idea, free from your fear of me, were written verbatim by uh, a woman from Armenia. And that really was the start of the song. But we, um, we worked on the song over three weeks. And the third week that we worked on it, we added a kind of spoken word. Um, it is not a rap. <laughs> I do not rap, but it is, um, it's kind of a reflection and a, a statement and an invitation to think about the idea of freedom, what it's meant historically, what it means now, what it could mean for the future, how we can get there, you know, kind of all of those ideas. And having, you know, volunteered at the center for three years and Sarah's been volunteering there for almost a decade, you know, we've met so many, I mean, hundreds of people, had many conversations about asylum and freedom and freedom of movement. And so there's a lot of emotion wrapped up in that. And there's a lot of feelings and thoughts about this concept. And, you know, we, we go and you try to be a positive presence there every week and offer um, freedom without doors, without borders, at least creatively. Um, wishing that, of course, there was more we could do. So I wanted to play this song for you. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. 
Let me be free, free like a smile, free from your judgment of me. Let me be free like an idea, free from your fear of me. I'm searching for an identity that isn't based on nationality what could it be would we be free if we let go of all our xenophobia let me be free free like a smile free from your judgment of me let me be free like an idea Free from your fear of me. I am a person without a promised land. I'm looking for someone who will understand. Could it be you? Can you see me? Can we take charge of our destiny? Let me be free, free like a smile. Free from your judgment of me. Let me be free like an idea. Free from your fear of me. Let me be free. Free from what? Free from who? Free to be. Free for you. Free for me. It's a complicated history. Those with power, they decide. But freedom comes from inside. Do you have a dream of what freedom could be? Stop and think, what is freedom actually? Free to go here, free to go there. Not to be judged by the color of our hair. As long as there's people, there's this need to control. But the essence of nature is about letting go. We hang on to structures, systems, and rules, build a wall around ourselves. We listen to fools. A border has two sides, but which side is safe if we create separation, mistrust, and hate? The only way forward is to embrace the chaos, the calm, the difference, the same, the heartbeat, the bloodshed inhuman humane the daybreak the nightfall beginning and end everything nothing enemy friend are you am i alone or are you also trying to be free from who they want you to be could we agree and disagree and find a way to live in harmony let me be free free like a smile free from your judgment of me let me be free like an idea free from your fear of me let us be free we could try it and see. Okay, so not like the most practiced, <laughs> but uh, but you get the idea. And um, yeah, that I mean, that song has a lot of meaning, a lot of meaning, I think, and a lot of things to kind of get us thinking and also feeling grateful for you know the freedoms that we do have great and small and just to hold those who are not in a space where they have the freedom to live in peace or you know to to be able to provide that kind of sanctuary for their children so to hold a space for them and send silent or not so silent blessings their way
So thank you. Thanks for listening. And I, um, I wanted to mention that I do have in the back of my head that I'd like to make an album of these songs. And so I'm going to be sharing more about that hopefully soon. But I have created an entire section devoted to the Refugee Songbook on my website. So if you go to www.guidingsong.com slash the Refugee Songbook, I think it's Refugee, the Refugee, let's see, let me just make sure I'm telling you the right information, the-refugee-songbook. So it's guidingsong.com slash the-refugee-songbook. You can um, you can click on every single song that we've written, and so most are finished, but there are some that are not. But you can read about our kind of process and experience writing each song, and you can see photographs and listen to video, and um, you know you can you can adopt the song as your own as well. So thank you for joining me, friends, on this. A little bit chilly, but at least not raining. Bois for day. Sending love to all of you and blessings for your day and weekend. Namaste.